In 1955, the great Sir Colin Meads pulled on the King Country jersey for the very first time, going on to play 139 games for the province in a legendary career that included 55 test matches for the All Blacks. 66 years later, South Canterbury and Thames Valley contest the trophy named in Pine Tree's honour here in the Meads Cup final. Ball nine. 12 phases for South Canterbury. No, no, ball's in. Playing halfback is uh, yeah, the biggest halfback in New Zealand rugby yeah, today, fucking Tava. They pinch a few more metres here. And, uh, well, he was playing an advantage to Current. He'll come back and Batesy perhaps a chance dead in front for the first points. South Canterbury looked like they were building nicely. All right, back to Briggs and he makes the kick downfield. Yeah, it's not a bad kick to inside Thames Valley 22. Natalie Himmelport shifts it along to his left wing. Will Newbold, a late change, and they're up smartly on defence. Gee, there's some energy in the South Canterbury side this afternoon. And Stu Curran obliges. And away we go. Quickly taken, and here they go. Amato, they shift it on, they're going to score. Not not heavy that it's going to be overly favourable, but enough to, to make a difference. But they want to line out here, South Canterbury, and here he goes, Sam Briggs. Let him dance through the Thames Valley defence and inside the 22 again. They have turned up to play, and they're going to score another try. Yes, Cam Russell, that's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, South Canterbury. Oh, that is a wonderful try. just to keep it tied inside the 22 here at the moment. Here it is for the flanker. Here for Tofili. Bonner. Players waiting. Van der Vogt, the hooker. They're offside here, South Canterbury. So they can chance their arm. The Swamp Foxes. Thank you. Stu Curran sees none. And he'll come back. And that's right in front. Bob Doolan sends it through, and they're on the board. Teams Valley coming up to 16 gone in Timaru at South Canterbury 15. The Swamp Fox is three. And ben Bonnet just trying to find a wee bit of pattern. Accidents the ground, the number eight. Yeah, Doolan, they shift it away here and trying to find some space down this left wing through. Will Newbold still alive? Him or Paul? Here come Tim's Valley! Ben Stevens is going to have too much pace! Absolutely magic try, and the Swamp Fox is back in the final. Don't worry about kicking the exit, boys. Let's have a go. That must have been the message from Sweens. Just run it, fellas. And this guy, clean set of heels, Ben Stevens. Playing up back is uh, uh, Linga. Back to the carry at the moment. And uh, it's Thames Valley, though. Great work over the ball. That's a big penalty. Holding on. Hundred and nineteen points coming into this final for Todd Doolin. He's kicking well and he knocks another one over. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. Again, six phases, South Canterbury. A little bit of off the ball stuff here inside the 22. And Stu Curran's seen it. Thumbs off. And uh, we're screwing up there for Peter and uh, Van der Vock. I'm not sure they were arranging a post match drink bait. Time is off. Not too much in it. Well, I, the only thing is, Joey, I expect a bit, mo I expect a bit more from a man of the law, the policeman, Van der Vogt. No mistake from Sam Briggs, sends it through. And the lead is back to five for South Canterbury. Now, good contest for the ball there, and it's on the side of 
Thames Valley and Mount tight head prop to here. Good to have. Another advantage here, not rolling. Some good old fashioned. I think I see some rucking in there, Bakesy. Well, that's a wonky one. And uh, it's a right of the right. And a chance here through the number eight. For Colour to run it out for South Canterbury. Just outside the 22. Music. Oh, right. Goes for the box kick himself. Head. Briggs in the pocket and a oh, good take there, Joe Cook. Smart work from the right winger and uh, I'll just do Karen's sake. Yeah, it's lost forward. Yeah, <laughs> Waiting one off. Kutia again up smartly on him. Gakala. No, go hunting for the ball here and uh, no, it's to Karen. He said he had two cracks in it. Couldn't resist. Slots it. Lovely strike from Todd Doolin. There it is for the captain, Nick Strawn. Got to get out of there, Connor McVeary. Does well. A little kick from Luke Glenn. And uh, those two Karen says it's okay. So Todd Doolin. And oh, it's been ripped away, has it? Yep. By the number eight. Now it's back with Thames Valley. What does Nick uh, yeah. Stu Karen say? He says penalty South Canterbury. Putting on out for Sam Briggs. Good contact. Through it goes. And South Canterbury, the lead back to 5, 21 16. Stable scrum. The Swamp Foxes. And there it is. Doolin shifts it on to McCann. He's taking care of. They're over the ball here. Willie Wright has turned it over, I think. The halfback. Great work. Yep. We've seen some big play from both nines today. Courageous tackle in the first half from Bonner, and it's a big turnover. Distance, not a problem. The Sam Briggs, that's a big kick in the final. Crowd love it. Junior Favre can testing. Uh, there it is for South Canterbury. Now for Fita. Marches through the Thames Valley defence. Right, looks away to Sam Briggs, and he puts the kick along the ground and chasing this is Luke Glenn. What's the bounce like? Oh, it's just a no, have they scored here? He wants to check it. If this hits the flag, and I didn't realise this, the ball is in. So does it touch the line? No. So that's, unless he's, that's a try. Yes. Perfect. So field, so ball is in the field of play. He's then grounded it in the field of play, so his try stands. Chris Hart concurs with Stu Curran and South Canterbury pull off another one. Can the recycle counter up? Fine. Is no, uh, good out. from out. South Canterbury. And they win the penalty. Well, that's urgency. And look how pumped up Bowler for Feeder is. Handy lead now for South Canterbury. Another big kick. 40 odd metres. And oh, had the distance, but just away. Right has it now for Junior Favre. An eye tackle coming. So they've got a penalty advantage here, South Canterbury. There he is, Polar for Fita. Wally Wright. Sam Briggs fires on, space out here. A oh, good tackle coming in on Luke Glenn. That will come back. Stu Curran was playing the advantage. And again, we've got a couple of games going, right, and guess who? Running. Guess who? No. The South Canterbury bench giving me plenty of advice. 
They saw it. Yeah, there's a bit of niggle on here. It's it's further right along from here, fellas. Yeah, it's when they get to their feet. So you've got to keep playing it when they get to their feet. And they come in there. That's it there. <laughs> They're just trying to get the image up on the screen. Go. We think it's number two, is that right? Well, yeah. he either lost his balance, Sam van der Volk, or he was giving. Number two? Fully a kiss that's on the cheek. What we've got is you've stood up off the ground, OK? We think you have been held, but then you've stood up. And then you've gone and headbutted the other guy in the chest, so it's going to be a yellow card. Before you go to the pocket, yeah. um, what about the punch against him? We haven't seen that. All we've seen has been being held on the ground. Sam Vanderbilt. Well, it's been 10 minutes in the bin. Yeah, hang on. He does, he punishes the Swamp Foxes. Oh, down to 14. And the crowd yep. in full voice in Timaru. No, again. Feet, this go. is great rugby from South Canterbury. Good recycle. Theo yeah, Davidson digs in. There for Russell. Now to his 5-8. Oh, yeah, there's obstruction, obstruction there. Obstruction there, so... Jerry Cowan will come back. Was playing an advantage, and uh, Thames Valley went rolling. Sam Briggs... Dead in front, sends it through, and that pump, they are happy. Fine. Just these little moments starting to break down at times. Roll! But they do have possession, and a penalty now, South Canterbury. This one, he can't fade round, 30 out. Sit. Leroy Neils. Advantage. Playing advantage. An advantage here, so the chance there. Leroy Neils gets it away to Jack Kingsford. Neils, Awaita, Doolan. Now they move it. Here they come, the Swamp Foxes. Trying to break through. Halafi'i. Thank you. And again, just trying to finish strongly. Doolan decides to have a kick. Why not, he says. Over the back. Letting Nanga. Bangs it into touch. South Canterbury win the Meads Cup for the first time.